During the anti-Japanese war, a refugee zone was built in Shanghai, sponsored by caring people all over the world, which saved at least 300,000 displaced people. A monument will be built near Yuyuan Garden in Shanghai. Now, Yuyuan Garden is the most famous tourism landmark, with high cost of land and lined with shops. However, during the anti-Japanese war, it is the boundary of the cool battlefield and safety zone for thousands of refugees. The safety zone is the refugee zone in the old Shanghai Center. The pioneer is Robert Charles Amely Jacquinot de Bassange, a French. The one in the right in the picture. He also had a Chinese name, Rao Jiaju. Under his great efforts, the refugee zone was founded on November the ninth, nineteen thirty-seven, and it received twenty thousand refugees on that day. Another person in the picture is Feng Sunmei, Rao Jiaju's comrade in arms, who once organized relief and help refugees. <laughs> The expenditure is donated by common people in Shanghai. My father and Rao Jiaju decided to host an exhibition, displaying notes for collecting relief. At that time, the refugee zone handed out porridge at 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. every day, and every refugee can get 0.31 U.S. dollars every month. Rao Jiaju was always taking candies along and gave them to displaced children. He can speak Shanghai delicate and Mandarin. He would like to listen attentively to refugees and comfort them. More and more refugees came to the safety zone, reaching a peak of three hundred thousand. Most of them were Chinese refugees. In order to expand the fund, Rao tried to visit politicians and public figures for donation. He even visited the U.S. President Franklin Delano Roosevelt in May 1938 and got seven hundred thousand dollars for the fund. However, Japanese soldiers often cast their greedy eyes on the refugee zone. In record, Japanese soldiers often broke in the refugee zone, even grabbing Chinese women. At that time, Rao always came out boldly, in the face of enemy's bayonets. Once, Japanese soldiers pointed his heart with their bayonets in a stalemate. Finally, the bayonets was retrieved. Rao left China for Paris in 1940 and died in Berlin in 1946.